Hey, uh, welcome to this little mini tour of uh, my hometown of Pretoria in South Africa. Um, Flight, Simulator, Flight Simulator released like yesterday on uh, on Xbox Series X and Series S, and uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, to be able to play it. <coughs> and uh, since I can't go back home, and it's been like two years since I've been home, uh, I thought I'd fly over and uh, see how realistic it looks according to. Uh, the, the world that they created in flight sim so uh, I don't know if you saw in the uh, in the previous screen but I will be lifting off at Waterkloof Air Base um, as it's the closest to all the sites <coughs> excuse me that I want to show today so uh, I did a few flights uh, earlier today just so I don't crash uh, when I try to take off or fly around so I don't look like a complete fool. Um, I'll be using a small plane, I don't really know much about planes, um, but I saw Cessna, so uh, I thought it would suit my needs. It looks quite nice on the inside actually, um, but I'll mostly fly uh, using the third person view uh, just to get a nice uh, view of the entire city so probably be able to there we go hopefully i can keep it in the air because i have uh, crashed a few times uh, i keep forgetting to add some throttle and then it goes meow, boom, and then i have to start over so uh, okay okay i'll i'll keep it in the air um, I'll fly over a few spots, uh, it's actually just more uh, spots that I want to see, uh, hopefully someone, out, someone else out there finds it enjoyable. Um, I am moving towards, I believe it's north, um, because Pretoria North is that way, um, so let's see. Uh, what what do we have here? I think on my right I'll have a Waterkloof golf course and straight in front of me it should probably be a Grunkloof nature reserve so try and fly over as many things that I can recognize as possible. Uh, I'll definitely be going past the Voortrekker monument as well as uh, the Union buildings but seeing that it's the closest, I'll just go over Grunkloof uh, Nature Reserve and Golf Course because these two are like so close, so might as well just fly over them. I doubt that there will be any animals, excuse me, animals visible in the video game from uh, in this place. But if you ever find yourself in Pretoria, you can visit this place and. There's a few uh, animals living inside, uh, giraffes, zebras, all kinds of uh, antelope um, and probably all kinds of snakes as well. Although I've never seen a snake while hiking or mountain biking, so maybe not. Yeah, so this is definitely uh, the golf course, um, absolutely. I don't know how accurate this depiction is, I've never been there. Uh, golf is a shit sport, so I don't, uh, I don't waste my time uh, playing it. Although I do play the video games, but in real life, nah. Uh, this is for Plopperpop, definitely. Uh, I know this little hairpin turn over here, um, as I've mountain biked around it several times, and to the left is for Plopperpop, which means that this is Grunkloof, uh, the residential area, uh, which is mainly, uh, well not mainly, but a lot of uh, Jewish people live in this community. It's a very nice community, very safe mostly. Um, and this right in front of me is the University of Pretoria. Uh, this is the Grunkloof campus where all the teachers study 
sport fields and a swimming pool. Someone actually drowned in that swimming pool. Uh, and to the right, that's the University of uh, University of South Africa, UNISA. Um, uh, the building looks relatively accurate. I'll fly past that again. Uh, okay, let me go and look for Four Tracker Monument. Um, it should be this way. Um, I should know because I used to drive past it like every day. So I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be left. It's got to be this road. Um, when I was very young, there used to be a paintball place, uh, basically right below me, but that closed down. Uh, apparently there were some sinkholes or something. Uh, I was too young to play, but I remember it being a painful place. Um, so, I believe that holding to the left, that's the heartfelt center, I think. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be it. And the bowling straight, okay, to the left now. That's gotta be the military hospital. My birthplace. Uh, so this would make it, uh, this would be Iskor. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they did down here. I do believe it's like where they melted down uh, iron ore or something. I could be wrong. Uh, I might be confused. Uh, but it's a very industrial area down this way. And this compound looking place here on the right, that's SA Bricks or Sabrix. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the score. And if you turn right, you're heading towards Proclamation Hill. This is the west side of Victoria. That dam over there is actually, a, what do you call it? A power station. Um, there's actually a power station there that powers this suburb over here. Uh, right below me is the Portuguese soccer club, I think. I think that's the Portuguese soccer club, I might be wrong. But I know there is a Portuguese soccer club in this area. Um, yeah, there's also a school. I believe this is the school, Iovo. Uh, this is Church Street. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And that's a rugby club there to the right. Base locus. Okay, let me go back uh, and try and see if I can find Fort Tracker uh, monument because I didn't clearly see it, which is weird because it kind of stands out. Um, so let me just follow the road back, make sure that I'm following the correct road. But I mean, I pretty much know these roads like the back of my hand, so... Fur Tracker is definitely this way. Yeah, here comes SA Bricks again. Yeah, so... Monuments should just be up ahead, uh, not too far actually, so it's weird that I didn't see it the first time. Yeah, so the military hospital is going to be to the right hand side now, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely the heartfelt center, absolutely. That's the military hospital over there. And Voortrekker Wachte into the distance. So the monument should just be here on the left, but I don't see it. Hmm, that's weird. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be right here. Uh, it's definitely not that low in real life. I mean, that looks awful. That does not look anything like the real thing. And this, yeah, this is the amphitheater. That's where Mumford and Sons played in like 2000 and 
so I can't remember the year, but I did attend the concert. It was phenomenal. Um, I do apologize for the phone going in just now. But I remember to silence these things. Okay, so to the right of the screen, that's the University of South Africa, definitely. Um, I mean, the main building doesn't look exactly like that, but it's it's accurate enough so let's see the union building should basically just be straight ahead um, there's a few other things on this side that I'll uh, try try and see as well um, but the union buildings there in the distance uh, up around those trees so let's see how accurate uh, the depiction is hopefully it's more accurate than the floor tracker monument because that looked awful um, i mean hopefully we get an update at some point Ooh, this looks awful oh wow i mean i guess i am pretty bad at flying um uh yeah mm, i mean it's the correct shape but not really close in terms of the height. It looks like it's got like a fucking sheet metal roof, so... I mean, I know we are in Africa, but not everything is sheet metal roofed. Um... Okay, let's see. This tall building... Is this the University of Pretoria, or is it the... the I think it's actually the one in the distance to the right. I don't know, I'm not sure what this tall building is. Um, no, almost flew into it. Um, yeah, this tall building coming up on the right, that's probably going to be the University of Pretoria's Humanities building. Uh, that's... That's Loftus Fersfeld. Yes, that's, that's Loftus Fersfeld. Uh, so, yeah, this is the main campus of University of Pretoria, absolutely. The radio station is also in this direction. Um, so I just want to see something. Because uh, opposite this um, this building there's a school. Let's see if it's... Yeah, it's... It looks quite accurate. I used to work at that school for a little while. Um, yeah, so that's Loftus to the left, uh, which is home to the Blue Bulls. Uh, they are my, uh, my rugby team. I do support them. Uh, okay, let's see. There's another part of the University of Pretoria in this direction, uh, which is like where you do all the sport things, like a ton of sport fields and rowing and swimming and athletics and all kinds of shit. So. When the university uh, plays rugby, they play it at this on these grounds over here. Yeah, so when I had my graduation, I had it in this building just below the right wing. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty accurate. I mean, having Pretoria look super realistic probably isn't on the list of priorities over at Microsoft and studio who create this game so I mean it's I'm I'm impressed it, it makes me feel a little bit closer to home and I'm probably just gonna go back and uh, try to land this airplane there's not a whole lot else that I can think of now that I want to show um, but if you want to see something else from South Africa or something else in Victoria, you can just uh, comment it down below and I s I'll see if I can find it and make uh, another stupid video like this. So uh, thank you so much and uh, maybe I'll see you in the next one. Maybe not. Who knows?